Chris Chris Isaac is who I'm thinking of. Yeah, Chris Isaac. And what a wicked game to play. Uh-huh. Stick your dick <laughs> in me. Oh, <laughs> I don't want to have gay sex <laughs> with, with you. He wrote that in uh, in jail, actually. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and guess what? Guess what? Chris Isaac's actually got a DUI. <laughs> He wrote that song. <laughs> yeah, a, getting raped he wrote over that, and over. Again. He wrote that song in a jail cell in mm-hmm. Nashville. And guess what? Uh, the song did not work. Yeah, he no. was still. He was like, <laughs> he was like I remember raped. my friend Steve Earle told me, "If you ever want to not get raped in jail, just let those pipes fly, boy. <laughs> let them let them know what kind of what, what kind of magical howl you got." And <laughs> that was some of the worst advice I've ever received in my life. <laughs> I did four years on a third DUI, and I probably had sex, let's see, 365 days <laughs> times four, that's about 1,300. I probably had sex with men 16,000 times. <laughs> <laughs> Wait a second. <laughs> it was nonstop. Wow, you're good at math, dude. There was a guy who smuggled in a... <laughs> There was a guy who smuggled in a little uh, little cassette radio player. And they had a, a cassette tape <laughs> with the Looney Tunes factory music. Oh, no. That's the one. And they, would, <laughs> they had guys coming and going from that cell. <laughs> wow. What a wicked game to play. <laughs> Make me have sex with everyone in the jail. <laughs> Just fucking him on that rhythm. And then it was actually Steve Porcaro that came in to produce on that album, and he said, what if we went with uh, uh, more of an R&B style uh, uh, production rather than the Looney Tunes factory music? Uh (laughs) And that's what made it a hit. Because honestly, (laughs) I just wanted to keep it as the Looney Tunes factory music and and, uh, as backing vocals have uh, Porky Pig and Elma Fudd. Mm, you just be- yes. Your original view for the song was begging to not be raped. Yeah, to mm-hmm. the Looney Tunes. To the Looney Tunes. <laughs> <laughs> it was a parody song. <laughs> it was gonna go on a on a Hanukkah album. <laughs> a, a Chris Isaac Hanukkah. My phone's dead. I don't know what Chris. What does Chris Isaac sound like? Someone pull up a Chris Isaac. His interview. talking voice. Yeah, I don't I'll know. look it up. What a wicked game to play. He was a one-hit wonder. Gay chicken. (laughs) (laughs) See, you see, the fellas I played gay chicken with, they did not respect the rules. They were actually gay. (laughs) No matter after you uh, tapped out or what. It's like they was going to keep doing gay shit to It's you. like playing regular chicken with <laughs> a jihadist. Good to be here. Well, you've been here many, many times. This is a well-worn path to Australia for you, isn't it? I love it. I love coming to Australia. It's my favorite place. Oh, well, good answer. Can he stay? It's good nice answer. Good answer. Welcome to Australia. Now, we heard you was getting raped. Yeah, you're on Australia's most popular show. People have been raped in the morning. It's 8 a.m. Good morning, Sydney. We're talking to Chris Isaacs, who was raped in jail <laughs> over 10 thousand <years> times. <laughs> we heard you, had, you swallowed heaps cum. We heard you had gay sex <laughs> to the Looney Tunes theme song. Well, it was a uh, rape. I wouldn't yeah. call it sex. This, uh, Australia is uh, one of my favorite places. You know, it used to be a jail. <laughs> What? <laughs> yeah, it was a prison colony originally. <laughs> just, I gotta get out of here. Yeah, it was just a bunch of blokes raping yeah. a bunch of mates. And that's where I wrote Waltz and Matilda. It was when I was in Australia. And, uh, I found out it was a prison. And I suddenly started having flashbacks to, uh, you know, Leroy and the guys <laughs> holding me down, playing that Looney Tunes music. <laughs> Just pulling a bed sheet over the bunk and getting that Looney Tunes music fired up and just 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 pumping fire into my soul. <laughs> to this day, if I'm watching an episode of Looney Tunes, yeah. my asshole will open up. The sound of a man eating carrots with his mouth open is <laughs> I tell you, that'll that that'll put me right back in the bushes basically. I'm I'm in the high jungle, there's a smell of napalm all around me. In a lot of ways, being raped in jail is my Vietnam. <laughs> <laughs> that was my generation's and Vietnam. I hated getting raped. And I 
wish I had just gone to Vietnam. <laughs> oh, I had the option to go to Vietnam. At least that kind of trauma would have gotten me parking spots. <laughs> <laughs> they should have that. There should be special parking spots for guys that were raped in jail. Yeah, uh-huh. they are vets. If pregnant women get it, yeah, mm-hmm. there should be there should be a way at the DMV you can get I was raped in jail sure. plates. So you say just jail rape, not regular rape. Just jail rape. Uh-huh. Okay, right. the on, the most honorable because it's something. It involves the community. It's a type of service. Right. It happened. Uh-huh. It happened in a government facility. Right. Yeah. I mean, you're not a veteran if you get shot. That's true. You know? Well, then I guess maybe just getting raped in the army it would make sense. No, those guys don't. Uh, <laughs> they don't deserve spots? No. Okay. No, they're a disgrace. You know? <laughs> <laughs> that's just... That's, anyone who gets raped I, wearing, wearing the uniform... I'll tolerate a lot of what we'll call off-color jokes on this show. Yeah. Right. You've you got to draw a line. You will not disrespect the army by bringing up those degenerates... <laughs> Who got raped, to be clear. <laughs> yeah. The degenerates are the one the you're victims. calling. Yeah. You're calling the victims of rape the victim. in the army degenerates. Just so I'm... Uh, they have their yeah. own separate USO show where Chris Isaacs plays. <laughs> 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 we'll all be over here watching Pitbull. That's right. Yeah. And then the guys who got punked out, they can go see Chris Isaacs mm-hmm. in the tent that's shaped like a giant bunk bed. <laughs> <laughs> They all serve. Wow. Yeah. The whole special tent and everything. <laughs> <laughs> Seems like it would be really intricate. This is a big county jail bunk bed. <laughs> the size of a hangar that they all watch Chris Isaacs in. Wow. So good to be here in New Zealand. <laughs> You're in Australia, mate. <laughs> Not again. <laughs> what a wicked game to play. Tricking me into not knowing the difference between Britain and Australia. <laughs> I'm trying to go to all New Zealand, bro. But yeah, that's what everything is it's like. It's kind of cool. What should the name be, Nick? What do you think? Since you're so, you love the football team so much, or the Washington Chris Isaacs? <laughs> <laughs> Are you thinking it should be the Washington Chris Isaacs? Mm, and it's just a cartoon of Chris Isaac bent over, holding uh-huh. on to, to bars in a jail cell. <laughs> And then just like a very racist caricature of a black man oh, behind yeah. him. <laughs> but it's not holding onto his shoulders with like angry, like, you yeah. know, like the, uh, the face of Popeye's enemy. Mm. Uh, Bluto. 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 Yeah. yeah. But he's got exaggerated racist What's his name? Features. He's Bruto, but his.